I love, he always brings his own group chat stories. So he has two, and I actually have, I, I have several, but I'm only going to report on one because. Oh, both of mine are animal related and quite quick. Okay, so maybe so we'll like, do more. Yeah, maybe you can, you, you definitely probably have time for two. Okay. Uh, how about you do one, I'll do one. If you feel comfy about doing another one, you do it, and then we'll it'll end go back to me. Okay. But only if you think we have time for that. Okay. Because I don't want to make it too long. Okay. Yeah. And both of mine are animal related. Did I already say that? You did. No, oh, my bad. You know, it's good. Um, They're funny, though. I'm very excited to hear your stories. Yeah. How have you been? How are you doing? How uh, is life? Good. Good. Uh, life's good. Just, uh, it's the fall times. It's the fall times. Uh, We're kind of going to the winter times now. Yeah, definitely approaching winter times. Yeah. Uh, it was 38 degrees one day last week. That was big upsetting while I drove to work. Yeah. Uh, it's dark all the time. Uh, okay. Seasonal depression, all time high. All time high. Are your thoughts on daylight, daylight savings? I hate it. I thought we I, weren't doing it. I thought year. we weren't doing it anymore. Yeah. No. That should right. be one of the news stories. Why? Yeah. And who are we, like, <laughs> so who are we killing? Big, big Moonlight is a... Uh, Big the big moon company is uh, forcing us to have more moon time. The big moon company, yeah, like big pharma, big moon. Oh, big pharma, big, I totally understand what yeah. you're saying. No, I it's think it's all really... conspiracy to get. No, it's not. It's the werewolves. It's the werewolves or vampires. I think they're nighttime related too. Can they go? No, they can't go out in the sun. Yeah, well, vampires can. Yeah, so if well, the they day can, but they glitter or sparkle. No, I think they die like in non twilight things. Yeah, but like you got to think about it, right? Mm -hmm. So if. Your day now gets dark at 4 p.m. That means there's so much time for activities at the night times when vampires can freely roam the streets and eat you. Mm -hmm. It's definitely big vampires. So this is, as you'd say, vampire propaganda. No, this is anti-vampire propaganda. No, I'm sorry. This is, I should say, this, this daylight savings decision to not change it isn't propaganda it's, it's pushing of the vampire agenda yeah vampire agenda big push right now big push right now on the yeah vampire also agenda. happy halloween i don't know uh this is like a week late this is gonna be two weeks late oh well it's like a week late for me okay yeah i love halloween we are we're doing a little bit of batch recording since we're going to be going on our um anniversary trip which you're gonna hear we are, had already talked about that on another yeah. podcast for sorry week. no it's okay it's all good happy that you're here you want to head into the group chat sure do love it let's get it into the group chat you'd like to start oh is it me i i think you said that you want to start and then i'd go in. oh my bad uh i thought you were starting yeah, no, go for it. uh so the first story that we have today is coming hot fresh off the presses from wisconsin okay it is no not november can we talk about that we can talk about no not november no not november okay. um so, uh, do you want to talk about the the other? No, 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 that doesn't relate to the story. Okay. Um, but did you know it's also no not November in the animal kingdom? I did not know that. Uh, apparently so. A deer was found trying to entice her woman or her her man into uh, failing no not November by rummaging through the lingerie store in a small Wisconsin town in the middle of the night last night. No way. She broke in. Straight through the front door. Okay. Ran around and reportedly left with multiple pieces of merchandise around you're, her head. You're <laughs> kidding. No, I'm dead serious. <laughs> Those are... Where did you get that story? <laughs> That's a wonderful story. I don't know anything about the No Nut November. She I, was feeling I, very I, frisky. <laughs> no. Long story short, the deer broke into a lingerie store on an accident and like ran out with multiple pieces of lingerie. No, I feel like I should head. be fired with the way that you led up to that story. Why should I be fired? No, I should be fired. Because you did such a good job. Oh, like, I was, that is I that so... Was, you know. Yeah, no, I, I threw in my own flavor. As Sarah <laughs> likes to say, I love to... He likes to add pizzazz to yeah. stories. Jazz it up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, but... Oh my god, that's so funny. So did funny. she run through the door? Like, through yeah, the glass? Yeah, like, either, like, the front door or, like, the front glass. I wonder what what possessed her to do that. She she had some business to take care of. She wanted her man to fail. No, no, November. Yeah, That's the only business she needs. Uh huh. She said, "We're taking measures in our own hands." Yes. That's the saying, right? Yeah, I think so. Something like that. That's hysterical. Yep. That's a wonderful story in Wisconsin. Three iconic Barbie songs have been submitted for Oscar consideration. Do you want to guess them or no? Uh oh, it was in Michigan. I'm so oh, sorry. Oh, it was in Michigan. One of those damn cheese states. <laughs> Do you want to guess guess which ones? Uh, the one that we always listen to. Wh which one? 
the oh, oh Barbie, you so fun. You speed so drive? Yes, yeah, it drive. is not speed drive. That's the wrong answer. No, I know. Speed drive speed should drive absolutely. Is, so good. is this the Grammys? Is that what you said? Uh, got nominated for Oscar consideration. Yeah. I thought Oscars were movies. I don't. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know the difference between the things. I think Academy Award. It's it's movies. Oh. Grammys. Grammys is totally music, right? Couldn't tell you. Don't know. I don't know. I haven't watched an award ceremony like that since I lived with my I think, parents. But I think we should have parties. I think we should throw parties. We also don't have cable television, so that will be difficult That to is a little bit of a rough yeah. one for that. Um, just, um, just want me to tell you the three songs? Uh, is it the I'm Knuff or whatever? I'm Just Ken? Yeah. I'm Just Ken is one, yes. The first uh, one? Those are the only two songs I remember. Okay. Uh, also, Dance the Night Away. Couldn't tell you what that was about. Which no bar played while I was out. Just want to let everybody know that. And uh, what was I made for performed by Billie Eilish? I think the one from Billie Eilish. Uh, Billie should. Eilish was a really good song. She's, I mean, yeah. just phenomenal. Um, I think that one should be top consideration in, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, I'm a little surprised. I'm just Ken. No, I mean, good song, but not, not Oscar. Su- what's the name of the song? Super slide. What? I don't know. Speed drive. Speed drive. Super <laughs> slide. <laughs> That was like the correct number of syllables, syllables and like a couple of the same Super letters. Side speed drive. This hat is giving me itchy forehead. Yeah, no. Do I you think, think any of those will win? I don't think so. I don't know. What, I don't know what they're up against. I I think what was I made for? It can absolutely yeah, win. Yeah, maybe Billy. Yeah, can. but uh, it's Billy. Yeah. So Billy. One of the my favorite songs right now is by Billy Eilish. Which what is it? It's from one of the James Bond movies. What? No time to die. Oh 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 yeah yeah yeah. Is that okay. the name of the song? I um. Mm, now I'm thinking of Skyfall by Adele, and that's not Billie Eilish. No. <laughs> but but your favorite song is still by Billie Eilish. You're just yeah, I do also like Skyfall by Adele. Okay. I don't know. Big 007, like, opening song. Vibes, guy. yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, is it my turn again? It is. Um, Third story. Yep. Potentially. Uh, great story of, coming of more. out of Texas this, uh, this weekend. Okay. Uh, college football. Uh, we're in the middle of the season right now. Uh, I think it's week 10, maybe. Okay. One of those numbers. Somewhere above 8, somewhere below 16. All right. Take your pick. Okay. Uh, week 9, uh, two teams in Texas had a great day of football. Uh, they did not realize, however, that they would be having a new tryout uh, come on to the team about halfway through the game. The uh, game? In the middle of the game. Live television. The score was 7-7 seven to seven in TCU versus Texas Tech. Uh, when a wild possum <laughs> went sprinting onto the field in the middle of play. Uh, they had to wrangle said opo- or not opossum. Possum. It, fun fact: opossum is spelled with a weird O at the beginning. That's silent. Yes. Uh, right. Yes. Yeah. Wow. But I don't think you said O. No, you don't. It's silent. Right. Uh, they also can't carry rabies. Uh, that's a good thing to know about possums. So don't kill the possums, even though they look like they're crackheads. Um, what? I don't know. They can't carry kill rabies. Yeah. Or they can't, they can't carry rabies. Yeah. Anyways, uh, possum mm-hmm. sprinted out into the middle of the field. Mm-hmm. Had to wrangle them up. He was pissed. He or she, sorry, won't assume it's gender. Uh, it was very pissed the entire time. He was getting dragged out of the stadium. And this possum. Mega fan. Yeah, this possum did not care that it was surrounded by 75,000 of its newest, biggest fans. Mm-hmm. It wanted to stay there and play football with the rest of the boys. With the rest of the boys. And they stole. That right away from them. I feel like they definitely could have like let it run around yeah. for a second. Like intermission. Yeah, like, yeah give, no. Like, give the get, guy, like, get the possum back out there. Get the possum back out yeah. there. I feel like, yeah. Yep. Anyways, uh, possum, Texas Tech and TCU. Uh, fantastic time. Yeah. That was a, I don't think, see, that was a better story than this last one. So I feel like this one's not worth talking about. I can find another one. Are you sure? Oh, wait. This is a good one. Okay. Unfortunately, we are... Keep going with the Matthew Perry um, news. This is really, really sweet. So, um, Matthew Perry's legacy and fortune as Chandler Bing on Friends lives on. E.T. spoke with entertainment lawyer Trey Lavelle, Trey Lavelle, who shared some insight on who might end up getting the actor's residuals after his tragic and untimely passing. P.S. Quote, he makes about $20 million annually in, res- in residuals. The entire cast makes that, and that will continue for however long the show continues to replay. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. Also, what a retirement. I know, right? Ross, um, what's his name? David Schwimmer was a huge, I think, like, had a huge hand in the fight for those residuals. Oh, I yeah. think he, like, really encouraged the whole cast. Fun fact about me and David Schwimmer. Okay. 
I don't know. Is that how you pronounce his last name? I believe so. Never saw him on Friends uh, until I watched the entire Band of Brothers series. So before oh, you uh, never... he was Ross to me, uh-huh. uh, he was the lieutenant in charge of Easy Company, uh, Lieutenant Sobel, I believe. That, I bet you look at him quite differently then. Yeah, he's a real asshole on that show. So, and, and he's very the opposite of his character for Friends. Yeah. Yeah. Big asshole and Like, his, Band of his character in Band of Brothers, very yeah. different from Ross and Barnes. Anyways... So, um, uh, uh, given the fact that he didn't have a spouse or children, it would go to his parents equally. It's most likely that each biological parent would receive half of the estate. That being said, he explained that it's possible Perry had something set up in which at least some part of his estate might go to addiction recovery charities. Oh. Yeah. So, sweet. not totally sure where it's going to go, but because he had no other spouse or children, the next in line, unless there was other things that he set yeah. up, is his parents. We were at one of our, our, our good friend's weddings. Mm-hmm. Um they're still on their honeymoon. I wish them the best of times on their yeah. honeymoon. Uh, when we found that out and all the girls mysteriously went to the bathroom and started crying for like 45 minutes. And it was very odd because none of the guys knew what was happening. Yeah. I was quite drunk. How long were we in there? About 45 minutes. No, for real, for real. F-R-F-R. Frog? Frog. Guys. For real on God? Have a, for real on God. Oh, my blue light went out. Motherfucker. Sad. This fucking blue light makes me really mad. Yeah, I came up with a new uh, slang term. Yeah. Uh, mostly because of my love for frogs. Yeah. Uh, so people say FR, for uh-huh. real. For real. Uh, OG, which is usually original gangster. Like, I'll give you that. It could mean on God, depending on how young of a person you're talking to. Mm-hmm. The use of today, yeah. uh, if you will. Uh, so I combine them into one, for real, on God, frog. frog. Now, do explain to those who don't know. I think people can understand for real. Like, are you for real? Whatever. But on God means the same. Like, are you serious? Yeah, but usually, like, I say, like, for real is me asking you. Okay. Oh, on, on God, God is me answering. Is, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, are you serious? Like, for real? Like, are you serious? Yeah. And then on God, I'm serious. I'm serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But frog is like... It, that's it, hits, br- it, it hits from the... Never mind. What were you... S- Don't worry about it. I'll tell you later when you're older. Okay. I was... <laughs> we'll talk about that after what you were going to say. Yeah. You decided to really spin that car around. Yeah, Speed I realized, drive, if you will. I, I, so, or slippery slide. <laughs> whatever you said. Slippery slide. Super slide. Uh, I realized about halfway through the thought of that, uh-huh. what I was going to say, that it was going to come out really incorrectly. Okay. Okay. Um, I can appreciate that. But... You're basically squashing both of the, uh, like, disbelief... Mm-hmm. and enhancing someone else's belief in one statement. Yeah, so if I'd say frog, you're pretty fucking serious. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I love that. I hate that he is gone, and I'm going to continue mar- mourning, and I haven't really figured out... I haven't watched Friends since it happened. Yeah, I haven't either. I'm a I little don't scared. Watch Friends, yeah, you don't watch Friends. As, um, I mean, I've seen, like, every episode. I just don't, like, really watch it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm very sad about that, but... Yep. Thank you for joining for the intro. For the yeah, chat. thanks for yeah. having me uh, for this brief intermission. Yeah. I think you'll see me back in a couple weeks on a very uh, exciting interview. I believe it's the week after this one. Oh, uh, yeah. Stay tuned. Stay uh, tuned. It's very funny. Sarah gets very frustrated with me. Yeah, you guys really put me through the ringer. Uh, I'll give you, can I give him a teaser? Yeah. Uh, there's, <laughs> I don't know if I should give this teaser. Okay. I was definitely going to be about swelling balls. Just leave it at that. Te- teaser? swelling balls inside you inside you yeah yeah and quote by sarah by the way uh-huh. not even by me no which may surprise you just tune in for next week for what yeah, that please means come back. because i really meant that to be so so sweet what i was trying to say was so sweet and yeah no it I, the, the thought was there and, it, and you know what they say it's the thought that counts it's the thought that counts okay guys yeah we're gonna go into um Part two of the Northerners versus Southerners uh, interview or like, you know, podcast, whatever with Sarah. I hope you guys enjoyed. And um, I don't want to say see you guys next time, but I'll see that you at the end of this episode. So. Yeah, I won't see you next time. Um, oh, yeah. Would you like to say goodbye before? Yeah, the uh, see you guys. Uh, happy belated Halloween. Happy early Thanksgiving. I don't think we're any near anywhere near Halloween when this goes out. This is next. It's like two weeks. That's still Halloween time. Mm. Bro, if I see one person with Halloween still up. By the time this podcast goes out, you know what I'm doing. I'm going to dig in my pocket for the <laughs> biggest middle finger I can find. Mm-hmm. I'm going to whip it out. <laughs> Happy early Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Happy really early Christmas. Mm-hmm. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy Honda days. Uh, yeah. Toyota-thon. I think that's going on at some point. Subaru. 
Love is what makes Subaru Fest? Subaru. I don't know. That love does Fest. not sound correct. That does not sound like that's right. I saw a shirt that says, I got my I got my lobotomy done at Toyota Thon. Uh-huh. And that's pretty funny. I think that's a good shirt. Uh, Happy New Year. I think we need to just let it go. Yeah. Uh, Sarah said, she told me a little secret today that I, I just have to I to- expand upon. Okay. Um, and then, she, because she won't tell you, she's really, she's really embarrassed about it. But I'll tell you because I don't give a shit. Uh, Sarah told me that if she gets to 500 oh. reviews My God. on Apple and Spotify uh, combined, so like if you get her like 300 on one, 200 on the other, because I'm not doing this, uh, she'll eat an entire like industrial, like king, I don't know where my other hand is, king sized Hershey bar. Uh, live on TikTok, guys. I'm not doing that. Like, there's so many things I'll I'll do for you. That ain't one. Would you do anything for love? But you just won't do that. I would say yes. That is that's what I would say. Yes. Great line by Meatloaf. Meatloaf. That's, that's the no. I know. Thing. I know. It doesn't make it better. <laughs> See, I yeah, get it. To, get it to five hundred. She'll eat it. 